Michigan has arrived in Indianapolis. We are with the Wolverines here before the Big Ten Championship kicks off. Before this season, if you thought Michigan would be here competing in this game, there's a really good chance you were working at Shen Beckler Hall. Outside expectations for this program are always sky high before the season, but coming out of that 2-4 2020 campaign, expectations were as low as they've been for a long time. Jim Harbaugh addressed that, Ward Manuel addressed that, and then the changes started to roll in. After the 2020 season, Michigan made changes to its football program. Jim Harbaugh and Ward Manuel reworked the coach's contract. Mike McDonald was brought in as the new defensive coordinator, and the mindset about Ohio State became a rallying cry, a daily one. You know, to win the championship, to, uh, you know, to, to win the beat Ohio, and we're going to do it or die trying. I'm 0-2 against Ohio State. Every day we got one thing on our mind, and that's Ohio State. And what are we going to do to beat them? It's something that drives me. September started with blowout wins and a run game that was dominating opponents. But was it a sign of real progress? On the outside, doubt was loud. Guys in uniforms believed. I feel like we can go really far. Uh, I think if we keep our head down, keep doing what we're doing, uh, we'll go far. You know, we want to be the best team, you know, in the country. You know, we're not just trying to be the best team in the Big Ten. The belief was strong. They said they were more together. Then that mantra was hammered home. The Big Ten slate opened with a win over Rutgers, then two road trips. Jump around at Wisconsin? Sure. The test and clinching victory at Nebraska? The attitude was shifting. It was different. Or back, if you want to say that. And it was clearly evident. Michigan teams in the past, no disrespect, but I think um, since I've been at Michigan, I think we lose this game sometimes. And I think it's a testament to the guys in that locker room, the coaches who have made a commitment to make this year different. And I think we got something special here. They really like football. You see it when they, when they practice, the energy that they bring, the fun they're having, the grit. Michigan beat Northwestern to set up a matchup of undefeated rivals against Michigan State. Spartans beat the Wolverines and U of M knew it needed help on the outside and had plenty of time left in the regular season. I think we're still in contention. We, get, we still got all our, our goals in front of us. Um, you know, it's a tough loss, but, but one that I think we can bounce back from. A win over Indiana, a win at Penn State. Well now. We definitely have enough talent and I think overall our mentality as a team has shifted and I think this team is ready to finish this season and I think by the end of it, we should be competing for a championship if we do what we're supposed to do. The Maryland game wasn't close, and so the Big Ten East would be decided at the big house. And the victory was decisive. With what we've done on this field, offense, defense, we are firing on all cylinders. I'm so proud of this team. I like what defensive lineman Mozzie Smith said this week. Michigan has not played its best game yet. He said they haven't reached perfection, and so there's always something to rise to. He said the closest they came was Ohio State. The timing was good for that one, but as Cornelius Johnson pointed out, you can't get cocky after beating the Buckeyes for the first time in a while. Nobody on this team, Caden McNamara said, has a ring. That's what they'll be playing for in Indianapolis. With the Wolverines, Brad Galley, 7 Action Sports.